Hello guys, welcome back. In today's video, we will discuss about uh, how we can move volume from one aggregate to another aggregate. The destination aggregate can be present on the same node or it can also present on the different node. We can do the volume move within the SVM level. We cannot move your volume from one SVM to a different SVM. Volume move consists of two phase. In first phase, the data from the volume will be copied from the existing aggregate to the destination aggregate. The second phase is the cutover phase. Once the cutover phase is done, the data will be served to the client from the destination aggregate. We can perform a volume move from on command system manager as well as command line. We will get some advanced privilege or more options in command line. So if you don't want to control the cutover phase, then you can use on command system manager. If you want to control the cutover phase, then you need to use command line. In today's video, we will use command line approach to perform the volume move. First of all, let's see the details about the existing volume that we want to move by executing the command volume show hyphen v server and the v server name and the volume here we will target the volume called share one type hyphen fields then type node then aggregate and hit enter here we can see that uh, the volumes share one is present on aggregate 01 and the node is cluster 2 hyphen 01 now the first step will be to search for a feasible destination aggregate and we can do that by executing the command wall move target aggr show so it gave error i need to mention the v server which is vs1 and then the volume name which is share one and then enter here we can see that the data underscore aggr02 is a feasible aggregate now once we collect the information about the data aggregate we need to start the volume move by executing the command vol move start the volume name that will be share one then the destination aggregate in this case it's data underscore aggr02 then the v server which is vs1 and then we will select hyphen validation only so this particular command will just validate the command it will not exactly start the move operations hit enter so validation is succeed now as i stated earlier in command line approach we can control the cutover phase so in order to do that first of all we need to go inside the advanced mode by executing command set advanced type y and hit enter now execute the command vol move start at the volume name which is share one then the destination aggregate here is data ezr02 and then the v server which is vs1 and then in order to control the cutover phase select the cutover action wait the volume move will start but it will not execute the cutover phase we have to manually start the cutover hit enter so type y and hit enter so no error came up now in order to see the status of move operation execute the command wall move show in this case we can see that the volume move is happening and the percentage is 78 percentage now let's again execute the same command now it's showing 88 percent so based on the used capacity of the volume it may take some time now again execute the same command now we can see that the status of move phase is changed cutover hard deferred from replicating this means that volume move phase is over and we have to trigger the cutover so in order to trigger the cutover execute the command wall move trigger cutover then the volume name which is share one and then we have to mention the v server that is vs1 hit enter again execute the command wall move show and again we can see that the move phase is replicating again execute the same command now you can see that the move phase is cutover phase now again execute the command wall move show now we can see that uh, there is no information it means that the cutover phase is also completed in order to verify that execute the command wall show and the v server name vs1 and the volume name the share one and then hyphen fields and mention the node now we can see that the volume share one is migrated to node 2 so we have successfully completed the movement of a volume from node 1 to node 2 that's all for this video if you have any question or any extra knowledge to share please comment don't forget to subscribe for more videos and again thank you for watching